Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the next day or two or three or four or whatever. You know, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we got for an upcoming message, an upcoming energy? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? I see the Four Cups reversed, which is seizing an opportunity. So it's letting go of regret, looking forward, the end of stagnation. It's like I see the opportunity, I want the opportunity, I'm going for the opportunity. Somebody that is interested, they're re-energized, they may have missed it, now they want it. The Four of Cups reversed, Three of Wands reversed. Three of Wands reversed. Unprepared unprepared you're not prepared for what is about to happen there's there's a lack of preparation uh, or some there's been a delay oh interesting yes there's been a delay you didn't there's it's hmm all of a sudden too there's a, you didn't see it you didn't see it Somebody didn't see it. Ten of Cups reversed. There's relationship problems with the Ten of Cups reversed. Or there's a, there's a relationship, you know, this is the... Well, tens are completions, but this is reversed. Maybe somebody didn't see an opportunity to have a relationship. They didn't have see an opportunity for happiness. They didn't see an opportunity for a permanent love connection. They missed the opportunity because the first card was the Four of Cups. And with the Three of Wands, they missed an opportunity. Now, it's like their, their dreams have been squashed. It, all of it, it was there, and then it was lost. What the hell is this? Five, yes, five of cups in somebody, it, there's been some sort of separation or pain, uh, grieving, mourning, mourning of a lost relationship. You didn't, it happened, you know, was surprise, it was a surprise. Five of cups is deep sorrow. It's also focusing on the past. There could be some regret. You notice this person is looking at a relationship that, and maybe the ship has sailed Okay, usually the Three of Wands is about a ship that is sailing away. This is reversed. So I think somebody is feeling like their dreams have been dashed with the Ten of Cups reversed. The dream, their dreams of happily ever after have been dashed. This person is looking at a relationship that didn't progress. It didn't progress or something like that. So there's some sort of sadness here. It's like, if only I'd done this, if only I've done that. But the Three of Wands is, you can't, you, the reverse is we have somebody that's been letting the past get in the way. Maybe it was a past relationship or something got in the way of their happiness. So Five of Cups, that is, that is painful, okay? Um, there's somebody here that is um, maybe blaming themselves. There is definitely some sort of sadness. Two of Swords, now they see. Two of Swords reverse. There's some sort of clarity. Uh, and this one happens to be um, opening up. Unable to deny. Somebody was in denial, but they can't deny their feelings anymore. There's definitely been a delay with these two cards. There's been a delay. Somebody was blocking their emotions. They weren't opening up. They were protecting themselves. They were they were anxious or they were, were resentful or something like that. They were unable to make a choice. Maybe they had some sort of double loyalty or dual loyalty, you know what I mean? Where they, you know, they were torn. They were in the middle. You know, they were torn between two to people or two options and but now I believe they see they they get they they see they probably have some sort of regrets somebody has some regrets ace of something did not grow something did not grow it did not uh It didn't, it didn't uh, flourish for some reason. It's like 
the the flame went out or the desire went away or something like that with the ace of wands reverse it didn't materialize something did not materialize and 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 this could be wasted time the 3 of wands reverse somebody may have wasted their time or they wasted their their energy and it has to do with something in the past i believe a past relationship somebody is regretting um missing the opportunity by by the looks of things they just weren't seeing clearly they were not with the two of swords they may have been fearful they may have let fear but this is something being exposed okay the truth being exposed something coming being seen now the mask is off something is being seen what is being seen the tower oh boy Oh boy, so this is a rude awakening. This is uh, the light being shed. Some, it's like there's maybe there was a breakup or a break or something. Somebody took a break and, and that caused them to see. This is some sort of break that has enlightened a person. You notice the light coming in. Um... Looks like this can be fixed, though. And I don't usually say that with the tower card. But you notice that can be fixed. I believe it can be fixed. I don't, I don't think I've ever said that with the tower card. But if you notice, it looks like that break, that, that can be fixed. Whatever it is, it can be. It's like something has happened. They may, there's been some sort of disturbance, per se. There's been some sort of breakdown or some sort of destruction or an accident or um, maybe it was, you know, there was something, something happened. Something happened that uh, caused a, a split of some sort. It caused a split, but it can still be fixed. It can, that can be fixed. I, I know that it can be. It can be. So it looks like there's an opportunity to fix something. Um, hmm. Interesting. This needed to happen. This needed because it's going to take more than one person to fix it. It takes two. It's going to take a couple people to fix this by the looks of things. I don't know. What the hell is this tower? Page of Pentacles reversed. Now this is somebody that doesn't want responsibility. Somebody that um, doesn't follow through. Somebody that is lazy, lack of commitment, drop out, foolish. Somebody is foolish. This is a disaster. It is a disaster of some sort. So somebody has experienced some sort of disruption or disaster or whatever it is I do believe it is fixable something is crumbling but it's able to be fixed or rebuilt but we have somebody here that's not putting in effort maybe won't apologize okay this page of pentacles is somebody in reverse is somebody that will not apologize will not accept any sort of responsibility at all this person doesn't, doesn't, uh, maybe this person doesn't want commitment or doesn't want to commit themselves to fixing it or something like that. This person may be foolish, maybe immature. So we could have somebody here that just, um, is a slacker. This person is a slacker. This slacker is experiencing a loss and it is a big one. It is a big loss. It's because they're not putting in effort to fix something. We have somebody here that is, is losing something. Remember I saw that Four of Cups. They're losing an opportunity. They're crying over the loss. They're, they're in pain over the loss. They, they wish that it would have worked out. But they're not putting in any effort to fix it. So if you don't put in any effort to fix it, then hey, you're going to lose it. Okay, then there's no chance in rebuilding it. You have to put in effort. Somebody's not putting in effort. They're lazy. They don't have any energy. They don't have any desire. Or maybe they're not putting in effort because... Uh, why? Why aren't they putting in any effort? The 
They're not putting in any effort. Maybe they're they're wanting to be alone. Maybe they are in love with somebody else. There's a lack of, of desire. There's a lack of energy. There's a lack of... They're not putting in any effort because maybe they're not attracted to it. There's a lack of attraction. There's a lack of desire. Um, there's an opportunity for love here. The Queen of Cups. It's a very emotional time next to the High Priestess. This is emotions. Intuitive. Intuitive. Something about an intuitive. We have a healer here. This is definitely a healer. Could be a counselor. Somebody could be dealing with a counselor. Um, somebody that is psychic. Um, could be dealing with an empath, a medium, a tarot reader. We have somebody here that is very, very, very intuitive, very in tune, in tune with the with the uh, a higher power. This person is very spiritual, so we do have a spiritual person here that has a lot of a big heart, a lot of love to offer. This person is. You can't hide anything from this person because very, very, very intuitive. Um, you know what I want to say is pure love. Now, there's there's some sort of fear of this, too, because you notice the moon in the back. There's some sort of fear here. There's fear of the unknown, fear of maybe they're not, they're not putting in effort because they know that they can't hide anything from this person you can't you can't this person is a feeler very receptive <laughs> so we have a we have a we have a, a definitely we have an internal disruption somebody or an external or both we have a disruption here we have a breakdown right something is we have a split we have a break of some sort it's like all and it happened suddenly this was very sudden all of a sudden there's some sort of uh, break or split or something like that and somebody doesn't put in effort they drop out they drop out they don't they don't they don't apologize or they don't they don't put in any more energy they just give up on it they give up instead of going that extra mile instead of giving so instead of now it's and, and it's gonna end up falling apart completely if you don't fix it fast it's really gonna crumble so i feel like we have something that is about to crumble it's not completely over yet because this looks like it can be fixed but it's gonna crumble it is definitely crumbling as we speak so there's a lack of growth in a relationship because somebody's not putting in effort and they've been blocking their emotions they probably haven't been communicating you know, maybe because it's fear. Maybe it's, there's fear of commitment or there's fear of giving away power to this person. This person's very powerful. This person is very powerful. I mean, you got the, the high priestess here. The pri high priestess has deep feelings. She's very reflective. Um, she's very intuitive. She seems a little distant. She's self-sufficient. She doesn't need anybody. She doesn't. She's very spiritual. She's a counselor. She's... Uh, well put together. A lover, too. We have a lover here. Somebody that has a really, really, really big heart. Um, and you can't pass anything by her. Nothing. Nothing at all. So we have somebody here that is probably regretting. I think we have regretting. This person is regretting not putting in effort with this person. Um, hmm. Seven of Cups. So there's an element of illusion and confusion here. We have somebody here that is confused. They have multiple options and they need to choose wisely. Be careful. Be careful with your choices because what you own owns you with the Seven of Cups. Um, maybe the High Priestess is the one that has multiple options. There's multiple options here. Somebody has multiple options.
the world reversed. Not learning a lesson. Keeps re somebody keeps repeating their patterns. They keep repeating their 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 lessons. They just haven't learned a lesson with the world reversed. There's somebody here that is lazy. And they're stuck in the present. And they're entitled. And they uh, are not going to be uh, having any positive change in their life. Because they keep repeating the same cycles over and over and over again. There could be some unfinished business here with the world card. So there's lack of closure. Something doesn't close properly or didn't close, it didn't end properly. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not. So this is get prepared within the next couple of days, there's going to be some sort of breakthrough. Okay, there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be a fresh new beginning. There's going to be a new start. A new phase is about to begin. Somebody's going to step forward in blind faith. They may act on impulse. Somebody's going to overcome their fear. In the next, I'd say in the next couple of days, I, I want to say three days. I don't know where it's coming from, but that's what I want to say. I want to say three days and somebody is going to step forward. Um, they're going to step into this new territory that they have been afraid of. They're going to let go of their fear. In the next few days, somebody is going to let go of their fear, and they're gonna, they're gonna come forward. They're gonna leave something behind, and they're gonna come. They're gonna come in that this direction. They're gonna come in a new direction. They're gonna walk in a new direction, and, and they're gonna get very. They're gonna, It's like here I come. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It's like they, they have been unable. They've been unable to, to. Uh, take ownership or to make a move or to uh, commit but it's like all of a sudden because this is the fool is very sudden this is impulsive it's like all of a sudden they decide that they're ready and they get this newfound excitement this is exciting it's an exciting new beginning it's time for me to leave the past behind or we talked about the past up here somebody's been focusing on the past and it's like, it's like, and maybe there's a choice between two people. We have the high priestess and the queen of cups. Okay. And this could be one person could be two. I think there is a, there's obviously choices here. There's a choice between two. So I feel like we, we have somebody here that has been unable to step into this new life, this new phase, this new chapter. Maybe it's because of fear, because there is some fear with the moon. There's fear. There's fear. There's fear of uh, making the wrong choice. There's fear of getting hurt again. There's fear of being left behind. There's fear of um, not being good enough. There's fear of uh, the, repa the past repeating itself. But the, you have to step, this is step forward in blind faith. You have to have faith. You have to have faith in new beginnings. You can't let the past hold you back. So we do have somebody that has been letting the past hurt Hold them back. And I feel like this person is about to uh, just decide. It's like all of a sudden. And maybe it happens overnight. They get this this bolt. This lightning bolt. You know what I mean? They get the, they get jolted. You know or something like that. Where they just decide. You know what? It's time. It's time for me to face my fears. And, and step into this new territory. So this is taking a risk. Somebody's about to take a risk. They have absolutely been stuck with the hangman. They have been stuck. But they may. I think they're. They've, they're, they're maybe they go through a period of taking a break. And they get this period of enlightenment. Like I said. This is enlightenment. Through this break time. Break from whoever it is that they are not probably putting in effort with. It's like a break break time through this break time they're going through a period of enlightenment and they get this new perspective they do so i feel like somebody has been thinking about what has been happened they've been thinking about it a lot 
a real a real lot and they've been unable to make any solid offers or communicate or apologize or whatever it is but something happens with that tower card it's like something happens it's like I, we can still fix this it's like they get this kind of uh awakening per se it's like they get jolted or who knows what you know it's like they get some sort of awakening and they see like i said up here they see that there's still an opportunity and so they they decide to you know take this risk and uh now something about i don't know the hangman it could be um I don't know. The hangman can often be uh, restricted or punishment. Somebody was trying to punish somebody. They were trying to teach somebody a lesson. They were being very stubborn. Um, but now they've received some sort of clarity. I think that we do. I think we have somebody that has received some sort of clarity. Somebody is, is hoping. They are hoping for... Um, forgiveness by the look I think it's forgiveness somebody is hoping for forgiveness we have this star here this person is very beautiful so this is a beautiful this is a star this is a wish somebody's wish she's making a wish and her wish is about to be granted so somebody's wish her or him somebody's wish is about to be granted we have a big big star here so this I don't know who this big star is but there's nothing to be ashamed of there's nothing to uh be worried about a blessing is coming. Oh, somebody's prayers are about to help is arriving. This is this is a star. This is a, this is help. Help is a, this person is making a wish, and their wish is 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 being sent out to the universe or has been sent out to the universe, and now their wish is being granted. So somebody's wish is about to be granted. That is what we got going on here. We do have a star. It's a it's a big star as well. Big bright star. Now, um, the star is a card of hope. It's a card of renewal and, and, and inspiration. This is also a card of protection and it's a blessing. And it's also a card of faith. So, and this is also like unexpected help arriving. Somebody, this is a unexpected help in some way. So this is a dream come true with the star card. Somebody's prayers are being answered. Or they have been answered. And it's like now, and somebody was blocking it with the two of swords. They were blocking happiness, okay? Blocking happiness. Two of swords reversed with the ten of cups reversed. But now it's like they see, because the two of swords reversed, now they see this opportunity for happiness. And it, it, is, it is a big, bright opportunity for happiness, now the star comes after the tower fell. So this is this is the tower has fallen. Now there's a blessing. So this is the blessing in disguise after the tower fell. So yes, there's been some sort of break. But this break has brought in somebody into a state of enlightenment. It has really given them a new perspective. And now they're coming to help or or something like that. So anyway, I think that in the next couple of days, somebody is going to step forward in blind faith. They're going to face their fears and they're going to act on the new perspective that they gained through this break time. Somebody's got a new perspective. There's no doubt about it. And they're looking at their options. And they have been looking at their options, I think, for a while. They've been exploring their options. They've been thinking about it for a long time. Somebody's been thinking about it for a long time. And I think now they know. Now they know what they want. So something about a star. Because now I see the starfish down here. So I don't know who this, what this star is. But this is a gift. Somebody's going to be receiving a gift of some sort.
Good luck.